Hey kids, welcome to our Second Kids Bible Study. We are so glad that you all are joining us today. Go grab your Bible, and before we begin, we want to pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day. We thank you for who you are. We thank you for everything that we're going to get to learn today. We love you in Jesus' name. Amen. Have fun. Hey, boys and girls. We're so excited you're joining us today for Second Kids Bible Study. We have an amazing story today from God's Word, the Bible. But I want you to remember two things every time we read from the Bible. One, I want you to know that everything in the Bible is from God. And two, everything in God's Word, the Bible, is true. It actually happened. It's real. I'm so excited for our story today. Remember this. We're in a series called, Where's Jesus? We know this, that Jesus died on the cross. They put him in a tomb. And then three days later, he rose from the grave. He came back to life. And after Jesus was alive, he met a bunch of different people. And we're going to learn about all of these people who met Jesus and were searching for him. I'm so excited for that today, boys and girls. Did you say you're looking Whoa. for Jesus? I had so much fun last time. I want to come back and help you look for Jesus again. It's Miss Callie. Hi. Are you ready to keep looking for Jesus? I'm so ready. Oh, good. You look ready with your magnifying glass. Thank you. Your really cool hat. Thank you. Matching detective jacket. Yes, I'm ready. You are ready to find Jesus. But before we dive into God's word, Let's say our main point. Oh, let's do it together. It's really important. Remember this, boys and girls. Our main point is tell, tell everyone, everyone that Jesus, Jesus is alive. alive. You That's know what? Right. Do you think they should do that with us from home? Yes. All right. Do as, it with us. As loud as you can. Are you ready? Here we go. Tell, tell everyone, everyone that, that Jesus, Jesus is alive. alive. Good job. Great job, boys and girls. All right. Now today... The person we're learning about who met Jesus yes. after Jesus had come back to life is, drum roll please, <laughs> Thomas. Thomas? Yes, Thomas. Wow. Now, Thomas was one of Jesus's closest friends. And this story is really cool. I can't wait for you to hear it. Are you ready? Oh, I'm so ready. Are you guys ready? If you're ready to hear the Bible story, let me hear you say, I'm ready. I'm ready. Good. Here we go. All right. Now, what had happened was all of Jesus's disciples, his closest friends, were sitting in a room with the door closed. But someone wasn't there with them. Who was it? Thomas. Thomas wasn't there. But while Jesus' friends were close together in this room, all of a sudden, boom, Jesus appeared. What? He was oh, there. Really? Yeah. Well, that was fast. We already <laughs> found Jesus. I know. The disciples <laughs> saw him, and they were so happy and relieved because they'd been so scared, and they, they'd been like, where is he? Where's, Where's Jesus? Jesus? But they found him. And you know what the disciples did? What? They were so excited that they found Jesus that they decided, we need to tell Thomas. He wasn't here. Well, that's a good idea because we're supposed to tell everyone about Jesus. You're right, Callie. And so that's what they did. They ran off. They found Thomas and they were like, Thomas, Thomas, Jesus, he's alive. Yes. And you know what Thomas said? What? Thomas was like, I doubt it. I don't, what? I don't think he's alive. Why didn't he believe? Because he didn't see him. Oh, so Thomas wanted to see Jesus to know it was really him. That's true. Thomas was still walking around saying, where's Jesus? <laughs> but check this out. Okay. The Bible tells us in John chapter 20, verse 26, that eight days later, all of the disciples, including Thomas this time, okay. were all sitting together back in that same room. Yes. They had shut the door. Locked it. And then all of the sudden, whoo, Jesus yes. was back. Again. He appeared. And they were so excited. 
excited. And then when Thomas saw him, you know what Thomas said? What? I'm still not so sure it's you. Oh, no. I know. Thomas was doubting again. He said to Jesus, well, if only I could touch the holes in your hand where the nails pierced your hands on the cross. If I could touch you, then I would know for sure. Oh. So look at what happened. It says this in verse 27. It says, Then Jesus said to Thomas, Put your finger here. Look at my hands. Put your hand on the wound of my side. Don't be faithless any longer. Believe. Thomas got to see and touch Jesus. And then Thomas said, My Lord and my God. Thomas was so excited. Oh, I can't blame him. He I'd had, be excited too. Yeah, he had found Jesus. But then in verse 29, Jesus says something really important. Okay. Something that was important to Thomas and something that's important for us too, oh. even today. Okay, so we should listen, boys and girls. This is really important. Jesus said, you believed because you have seen me. Yes. But blessed are those who believe without seeing me. <gasps> Now, let me think. So that means that even though I can't see Jesus with my eyes, mm -hmm. I can still believe that he's alive? That's right, Miss Callie. And you know how you can know he's alive? How? Because it says so in the Bible. <gasps> yes. And, and we know that everything in the Bible is 100% true. true. <laughs> and we know that Jesus is alive. And that's why... We should tell everyone, just like the disciples did. And now Thomas knew Jesus was alive, too. That's right. That's our main point. Let's it, say it together. Okay. Tell, tell everyone, everyone that, that Jesus, Jesus is alive. alive. <laughs> Great job, boys and girls. I can't wait for us to, to meet again soon to keep learning all about where Jesus went. Bye. Bye. See you next time. It's time to do our memory verse together. Now, this verse is kind of long, but I bet if you practice it every day, you'll know it super fast. We're going to do it two times. The first time, really slow. And the second time at normal speed. Here we go. Then Jesus told him, because you have seen me, you have believed. Blessed are those who have not seen me, but still have believed. John 20, 20. Great job, let's do it one more time. Then Jesus told him, because you have seen me, you have believed. Blessed are those who have not seen me, but still have believed. John. 2029. Thanks so much for doing that with me. Well, guys, thank you so much for joining us for a second kids Bible study. We hope that you enjoyed this time. Right now, there are going to be a few questions that you and your families can discuss and really dig deeper into the lesson that we just learned. Again, guys, we're so glad you joined us and we will see you next time.